Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. <laughs> the product you are spreading, fertilizer, lime, or another granular product, should have an even distribution across your field. A good spread pattern will give you the most bang for your buck. Fertilizer is too expensive and your time is too valuable not to use your equipment at its optimum performance. First, perform a general visual check of your entire spreader. Check all bolts and set screws. Check hydraulic hoses and fittings for wear and leaks. Check your tie-down bolts. Check your drive wheel for wear. Check the condition, placement, and alignment of your spinner blades and dishes, left and right. Verify your chute settings. Adjust the chain tension and idler as necessary. Check your conveyor tension both above and below the frame. Check all bearings on your front roller, rear roller, jack shaft, and drive wheel. Next, choose your test location. It should be flat and clean with low growing vegetation and no bumps in the wheel tracking area. Choose the direction to start your test. It is best to run into the wind and have as little wind as possible. Choose the operating speed to run your spreader. The unit must operate at the correct RPMs to produce sufficient oil flow to operate your spreader. Use the tachometer. Check your RPMs. Verify your product is uniform in size and weight. Material with clumps will cause streaking and will not give a good spread pattern. Verify your product density. Each load should be weighed as product can vary even in a single shipment. How to determine product density is demonstrated in a separate video. Select your gate setting. Using the chart on the back of your hopper, select the pounds per acre. Crank the handle to the correct setting. Verify your gate setting. Measure the gate from the floor of the spreader, not from the top of the chain. Lay out your collection pans. There are three separate videos with instructions on pan placement for the center pass, the S pass, and the extended range swaths. Drive your test run. Our next step is to collect the material that we have spread from the pans, starting with the left, going to the center, ending with the right. After all the pans have been emptied into the test tubes, evaluate the spread to determine what, if any, adjustments must be made. There are three types of desirable spread patterns, flat top, oval, and pyramid. Newton Crouch spreaders are designed to give the flat top or oval, which are the best overall patterns. They can produce a pyramid when properly set. Spinner speed and chute placement are the most critical adjustments that will change your spread pattern. How to correct your spread pattern is featured in another video in the technical tips. Newton Crouch has developed several worksheets that will help you record the information from your spread pattern testing. The spread pattern test worksheet allows you to record information from multiple passes. The multiple pass worksheet allows you to record information from the various test patterns. The spread pattern documentation is where you save the results and settings from your ideal pattern and have it for future use. Newton Crouch sells a spread pattern test kit. It includes the density scale, 11 collection pans, test tubes and rack, funnel, and measuring tape. The instructions in this video are in your operator's manual. Your manual was made specifically for your unit. The Newton Crouch website also has this information. Go to www.newtoncrouch.com. The support tab and technical support tab will take you to the dry section where this information is available. Visit us on YouTube. We are continually adding new tips. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch, Inc.